just kind of a synopsis of the last 12 months worth of electrical consumption. So I went on our local uh, electrical utility site. You can kind of see what at our residence here what we're using throughout the year. And uh, starting, uh, this was uh, April last year through April this year, and we just uh, finished our billing period. Uh, we actually have still a meter reader that comes around to our house to read our uh, amount, and then we get, get billed uh, automatically, usually around the 11th or 12th of the month. And so you can see uh, probably averaging in the 300 range per month through the year. The uh, late summer months, this is August, September, October, getting was doing most of my grid tie work through there with my solar panels when I got those up and running. So you can see it had a pretty good impact on our usage uh, or our billable usage. <clears throat> Come winter time, the big hitter there is uh, the furnace comes on obviously and then we have some electrical heaters and space space heaters in rooms and that tails off a little bit as the uh, winter winds down and spring comes. Big drop off we had here was basically the furnace cutting off and then I was using more off-grid capability and I'll show that to you next on uh, my next chart. Now we have our utility rates about 10 cents per kilowatt hour so when it's up at the 400 that's about a $40 bill. 200 kilowatt hours in a month is about a $20 bill. Okay so here's the what the electrical usage is doing right now and I have the system tuned so that when the sun comes out it actually with my grid converter drives down our power to the house that we're actually being billed and right now it's reading just two watts is what the house is using because it's midday and perfectly clear sun and I've got just the right amount of panels grid tying to make our basically eliminate the usage of the house now I mentioned before that the way our utility meters work here is if I put excess power into the grid it actually causes the meter number to go up. It's a digital meter and it's going to read power doesn't matter which direction it's going it's going to add. So obviously I would be paying for any excess that I put into the grid so that's why I'm now uh, trying to make the power drive down to zero during sunny days and then uh, the rest of it goes into batteries and then I use that to run the furnace or like in the case right now it's running the house uh, refrigerator and uh, it's keeping up with the usage. So let me look show you what it looks like on the graph. Okay so here's a real-time look over the last four hours today. <clears throat> you can see we're driven down to zero watts or so about four watts actually on the real-time read here. Um, we had pretty cold overnight it was in the 20s degrees Fahrenheit over night and most of the morning so the space heater in the office here has been kicking on and off <coughs> periodically but uh, I shut that off here I don't know uh, two an hour and a half ago and then you can see as the <coughs> as it started to wind down uh, we get down to our four watts level and you can see actually over here the low uh, before noon was only 54 watts so the solar panels were uh, picking up the load driving it down to 54 watts from an, an average of uh, maybe uh, 200 watts and then as each lower peak now it's 21 there 8, 6 and so you can see the bottom has been nailed for any time the space heater is off uh, basically having the solar panels drive the usage down to zero compensating for what the house is using. So that's pretty much what I expected to uh, accomplish on the sunny days. Obviously I can't have every day be a sunny day, but I thought at least I'd share my methods for trying to drive down the utility uh, level while still having uh, everything in the house that I want powered be powered. Another thing I can do is I can put it on the uh, daily view in kilowatts and then we'll go back to uh, well, let's say about uh, March 10th <coughs> and I can show you what's going on here. This was our normal usage in March but it, right here is when I put things on my off-grid system where I was charging batteries 
and using the batteries to run the furnace and then uh, that kept you can see the remainder of the month almost chopped in half what we were normally using which was about half of that power was going into running the furnace motor so this uh, low spots here are all uh, off-grid furnace motor power and then we ended up with a a cold patch so it's been kind of you know cool for the last couple weeks here and so the electric heater has been on we have not been running the furnace and uh, we've stayed at some of these elevated levels here but what we had what we did do after the furnace was shut off is we were using uh, the uh, off-grid batteries to run the the uh, refrigerator which doesn't take as much as the furnace did but it is uh, reflected in these uh, usage numbers on TED so I kinda like this TED meter you can kind of use this as your guide to what's going on on a daily basis and it's projecting what the monthly usage will be for the next bill 237 which is pretty much on target for what uh, we've been seeing measured by the uh, utility company so about twenty twenty five dollars for the electric bill coming up in the next billing period alright that's it for today talk to you later